Hey guys, welcome back to the Micro YouTube channel. Today I'm looking at a light from Medicrow. It's called the Mini Sun. Tested a few of Medicrow's lights uh, so far. Bigger fixtures for five by fives with um, you know variable spectrum and controllers and all that sort of thing. This is a little bit of a simpler light. It's also very very good value for money. Uh, not surprising that um, it's stripped back a little bit given its price. This is the 320 watt version and it retails for $200, which is extremely good value for money for that wattage. It would be really interesting to see what the quality of the output of this fixture is. It's really nice and simple design, this light. It's got two LED panels wired into the LED driver mounted on the back. Very solid bracketry, fixing it all together. Really nice quality of finish. Um, very solid. The driver box really nicely finished as well. You've got a pretty unique feature for uh, grow lights, which is an onboard timer on this one. Just got a knob here, you can simply turn it to set it from a 12 to 16 to 18 to 20 hour cycle if you're growing photos or um, auto flowers. This would be very useful. It's also got dimming switch. You can adjust the dimming from 40 to 100% in 20% increments as well as setting it to external and you've got the daisy chain or J12 connections at the back for daisy chaining multiple units and controlling them simultaneously either from a master unit or from an external controller. I of course tested the spectrum output of this fixture with the Ascensitech spectra radiometer and as you can see, it's a full spectrum output. The overall color temperature being 3800K, which is sort of um, neutral to cool in the, uh, in the color temperature range, but totally suitable from growing all the way from seed to harvest. The LEDs have a protective coating over them. I think it's silicon to protect them from dirt and dust ingress. It'll be really interesting to see what the performance is like of these LEDs in terms of output. The fixture is specified for a 4x4 and that's what I tested it in. I dropped it into a 4x4 foot by 4 foot or 1.2 by 1.2 meter test area with silver mylar walls and I dropped it down to what I thought was the optimum hanging height which is around uh, 40 centimeters or 16 inches from the top of the plant canopy to the underside of the light. This is where I was getting in around a thousand micromoles in the dead center. I then took measurements across the test area, 64 um, power measurements in all with a spot on quantum sensor to determine the average power output, which is 519 micromoles. And that total power output by the light fixture onto the plant canopy divided by the power consumed, which was 328 watts, gives you the system efficiency, which is a very, very good 2.28 micromoles per watt or usable PPF per watt. It's an outstanding efficiency result for a fixture at this pricing for that wattage. It's really, really good. The, um, this can also be put into a three by three to get your power intensity up higher. If you're hanging in a three by three, I'd hang it a little bit higher, um, probably about 45 centimeters or about 18 inches. Uh, but you would get an average power, which is really pushing that performance for that space up quite high. An outstanding fixture for a 3x3, three three, I would suggest. Overall, really like this fixture from Medigro. Like their other fixtures that I've tested, it's a really high quality product, um, very keenly priced with lots of great features um, for a light of this size at this price. Really, really good um, uh, offer from them. Look forward to your questions and your comments. If anything you want to add, please let us know below. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. Take care.